Hello and welcome back. I just wanted to show you where we left off from with adding the server and this has been running for uh, over a day now and we can see a little bit more information on the graphs uh, that we have going. So here are the graphs. And as you can see we got uh, you know, a lot more data there obviously. Uh, the system isn't taxed that much but I just wanted to show you that the graphs are a little bit more fuller on that. Um, today we're going to go over adding switches and we'll actually add two switches uh, to this uh, Zabbix control server, if you want to call it that, or the main uh, server, uh, where you can see the information on all your different services that are being monitored. Um, so we will set up two switches. Uh, we're doing my USG, which is a uh, Ubiquity or Unify uh, networking gear that has been absolutely wonderful uh, for a home. I know it's sometimes used in a small business and stuff like that, but it's been very great uh, having it for my home lab and for my home network. Uh, it's been flawless. Um, but we'll be uh, turning on SNMP, uh, which is basically simple network uh, management protocol, and that will allow us to pull the information about the switches um, so that we can get that information and uh, post it in, in graphs and stuff like that. And then we'll also set up a, uh, a map uh, would be the next uh, video after we do these two switches after we add those to the Zabbix server. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, you need to go into your, uh, if you have Unify or whatever switches that you do have, you need to enable SNMP. For the Unify, it is actually in the uh, settings, services, in the services up here at the top, you'll see SNMP, and then you just need to make sure that it's enabled. Uh, once you enable that, uh, any of the devices that are provisioned by the controller will actually have the SNMP enabled for that. If you want to go SNMP version 3, you can. Um, it actually adds a, a username and password to it, um, but uh, SNMP2 uh, version 2C works fine, or SNMP version 1. Um, so we, we do enable that on there. And then once that's enabled, you have to decide what switches you're going to watch. And I've got two switches. Or one's a router, and then one's a switch. So I'm going to do this basement uh, router, and then I'm going to do the basement switch as well. So. Uh, those are my IP addresses right here, and I'm going to do those too. Um, so let's go back into uh, Zabbix itself. I will log out. I'll log back in just so you can see it. Okay, from here, um, last time we did the configuration. That's what we have to do again. And then here we're going to go to host. And this time it's going to be a little bit different, but I will uh, go through the steps for you here. We're going to create host, and then we're going to give it a host name. I'm just going to call this uh, basement uh, router. And group, or I'm actually going to put this in uh, networking. And it is new. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky. You would think that you'd want to put, just put your IP address in here, but this is for the agent only. So what you're actually going to do is you're actually going to remove this. And then you're going to click add, and then you're going to go to SNMP. And then for the SNMP, we're going to put the IP address in for our router that we had there. And I said that was the 192.168.1.1. DNS name we're not worried about. We're going to go by IP address. Port 161, that's the default SNMP port for that. And then uh, SNMP version, we're going to go SNMP version 2. And then the community uh, string here it wants to know what that is. Now here it's set up as a uh, variable. Um, so what we can do here is if we go to macros, inherited host macros. So we've got SNMP community. And the effective value is public. So that's going to be our, our, uh, our, you know, public is what's basically, you can think of it as a password, if you will. Um, so this will be filled in for the SNMP uh, community. Uh, so what we do now is go back to the host. We've got basement router. Um, got the IP address, description, no proxy, and then click add. So we click add there. 
And as you can see, it's been added. There's basement router. Notice there's no applications, no items, no triggers, no graphs, no discovery, and no web. That's where we're going to add this template. Um, the template that we're actually going to use is one for networking. So we can actually go into this uh, system and go to templates. And then here it says link new templates. Here we're going to go for network. And then template network general device SNMP version 2. We're going to select that, update that. And now you can see for basement router, we've got a whole bunch of things, you know, Etherlink, MIB, module generic, and module interface uh, on this thing. Um, so now it's set for SNMP. What we can do now, once that's set up, we will go and add our next one. So we'll create another host. And we'll call this basement switch. Groups, we will select, and we're going to put this into our networking. Once again, since it says agent, we need to remove that. Click add SNMP IP address 192.168.1.3. Now this will be your IP address of your switches. We're going to go by connect by IP ports 161, which is the uh, port standard port for SNMP, SNMP version two, and the community is this uh, variable uh, for that. So, and click add on this one. Now, same thing, we're going to be adding the network template generic to that one. So we'll click on the basement switch, we'll go to templates, we'll do network, and we want network, ETWRK, generic device 2, whoops. network update so we've got both of those there as you can see this one here is uh is pulling some information because it's actually got snmp now uh whereas before like the second one here this basement switch does not have anything yet but it should switch to snmp here in a little bit uh at that point we're pretty much done with the configuration part of it so what we can do now is we can actually go to the basement router uh, when we click on that if we go to monitoring host hit the router as you can see snmp now is enabled on the switch go to the router look for latest data and we can see right, right now it is picking up icmp loss which is basically a uh, ping and then icpm uh, response time and snmp agent availability and uptime um, so it gives us that information for there we can actually look at the graph this graph will continue to grow since it's uptime. Um, and some of the other ones, let's see, we've got a ping response. See a graph of our ping response for that as well. And this should slowly start filling up with more information. Um, we can actually select another one. We can select, uh, let's see. basement switch as well and then we can see both of those hit apply and we see that's basically got the same amount of information so far we're gonna let this run for a little bit uh, so we can get some more information uh, but slowly it should pick up all the interfaces that are on these uh, switches and routers so we'll have all that information uh, available for those as well um, so we'll just wait a little bit and make sure that this gets filled out Okay, just wanted to show you that now if we go to uh, host and then latest data, we can see for the basement switch that we are getting information for all of our uh, ports. And this is just a five port on the actual, uh, uh, sorry, on the switch. And then uh, also on the router, select host. Switch and router. Oh, 
Let's do the We can see all the different gigabits for the thing. Then we can actually click on the graph over here. And we can see that information. Or if we want to, we can actually go to uh, host and then uh, hit graphs. And then we can see the information for the individual ports on that uh, switch. So everything seems to be working. Um, as I mentioned, it is really just... Uh, setting up the host in the configuration and then from that host selecting the proper template um, which is the template net generic snmp version 2 and then letting it pull its information in the proper snmp thank you for watching uh, mb tech and hope you enjoyed this one and we'll next time we'll be uh, talking about maps um, so we'll actually be going to monitoring and maps and we'll set up two switches uh, on here and uh, we should be good to go thank you for watching please subscribe and we'll see you again